Lesson 4, Advanced Words Processing Skills. What was your earliest memory of productivity tools? What do you remember in the Microsoft Office? Can you name some of the word processor you used during your junior high school? What is your experience during those time of using the application? Creating content using computer software nowadays has become one of the most important skills in the 21st century learners must possess. Productivity tools generate information such as documents, presentations, worksheets, databases, charts, graphs, digital paintings, electronic music, videos. Rate your knowledge and skills of the commands. 1 to 3. 1 is the lowest while 3 is the highest. Launch an application. Save a document. Enter data in a spreadsheet. Create a simple slideshow. Word processor is a computer software application that used for preparing documents and letters. It performs the task of composing, editing, formatting, and printing documents. This is the Microsoft Word environment. Microsoft Word 2013 is a word processing application that allows you to create a variety of documents like letters, flyers, and reports. With the introduction of several enhanced features, including the ability to create and collaborate on documents online. Word 2013 gives you the ability to do more with your word processing project. Quick Access Toolbar Quick Access Toolbar lets you to access common commands no matter which tab is selected. Scroll Bar Scroll bar, click and hold and drag the scroll bar to scroll up and down through pages of your documents. Word count. Word count displays the number of words in your document. Click word count to open the word count dialog box. You can quickly view your document's statistics, like the number of pages, paragraphs, and lines. Zoom control. Click, hold, and drag the slider to use the zoom control. The number of the right of the slider bar reflects the zoom percentage. Account access. You can access your Microsoft Office information, view your profile, and switch accounts. Document views. Read mode. Full screen mode. Print layout. Selected by default, it shows the document as it would appear if it were printed. Web page layout. Shows how your document would look like as a web page. Ruler. It is located at the top and to the left of your document. It makes easier to make alignment and spacing adjustments. If the ruler is not visible, you need to the, go to the View tab and look at the Show group. The Ribbon The Ribbon contains all of the commands you need to perform common tasks in Word. It has multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. Word uses a tab ribbon system instead of traditional menus. The ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. You will see these tabs perform the most common task in the Word. Home tab. The home tab gives you access to some of the most commonly used commands for working with Word 2013, including copying and pasting, formatting, 
aligning paragraphs, and choosing document styles. The Home tab is selected by default whenever you open Word. Insert tab. The Insert tab allows you to insert pictures, charts, tables, shapes, cover pages, and more for your documents, which can help you to communicate information visually and add style to your documents. Design tab. Design tab gives you access to a variety of design tools, including document formatting, effects, and page borders, which can give your document a polished look. Page layout. Page layout tab allows you to change the print formatting of your document, including margin width, page orientation, and page breaks. These commands will be especially helpful when preparing to print a document. Mailing tab. You can use the mail merge features in the mailing tab to quickly compose letters, address envelopes, and create labels. This is especially useful when you need to send a letter to several recipients. View tab. The View tab allows you to switch between different views of your documents and split the screen to view two parts of your document at once. This command will also be helpful when preparing to print a document. Contextual tab. Contextual tab will appear on the ribbon when you're working with certain items, such as tables and pictures. This tab contains special group of commands that will help you format these items as needed. Mail Merge is a word processing feature that allows you to easily create multiple letters, labels, envelopes, name tags, or catalog document to a group of people. It is stored in a list of a database or a spreadsheet. Three components of mail merge. The main document contains the boiler information, text and graphics. It also determines the format of resulting merge document. The data source contains the variable information. The merge document that contains the combination of boilerplate text and variable information. Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Mail merge is a great time saver if you need to create multiple documents that are mostly the same but unique in some way, like name tags for an event or envelopes printed with each person's name and address. The document I have here is a letter offering customers a discount on their next order. I want to personalize it by addressing each copy of the letter to the customer using some information I have stored in a spreadsheet. To begin, go to the Mailings tab, then Start Mail Merge, and select Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. This will walk you through the process one step at a time using this pane on the right. The type of document I'm working with is a letter, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I also plan to stick with my current document instead of using something else like a template. Now I need an address list so Word can create a copy of each letter for each customer. To start from scratch, you can type a new list, then click Create to enter your recipients individually. Alternatively, if you do have an existing document with the information you need, like an Excel workbook in my case, choose Use an existing list, then Browse to find it. Now click Open, and select the worksheet that contains the list. I know mine is in Sheet 1. In this example, you can uncheck any recipients that you don't want to include. I want to include everybody though, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
And now it shows that workbook as my recipient list. So now it's time to write my letter. You can add something unique for each recipient, including their address, a personal greeting, and more. I'd like to add an address block first. Just place your cursor where you want it to go, then click the item. Here's a preview of what it's going to look like and a few alternative formats to choose from for the recipient's name. Click OK, and a placeholder will appear in your document. This is where the address will go later on. The other thing I'd like to add is a greeting. Again, you have a preview here and the ability to change some of the formatting if you'd like. Let's move on to the next step, previewing the finished product. I just want to make sure the information from my list appears the way it should. You can take a look at each recipient's copy by clicking the arrows here. Everything looks great, so let's complete the merge. If you click the print command, Mail Merge will ask which pages you want to print before sending you to the final step. I want to print every document in my recipient list, so I'm just going to keep all. Now all you have to do is adjust the settings if you need to, then click OK. Knowing how to use Mail Merge is a must for creating multiple letters, labels, envelopes, and more. The possibilities, along with the time and energy you'll save, are practically endless. Thank you.